Hello, happy Sunday, great minds. It's yet another Sunday of our mobile church. And I'm your very own evangelist, Mac Miracle. It's always a pleasure to have you here. And this Sunday, we are talking about passion is everything. I would never teach or talk about something that I've never tried. I would never talk about what has never worked for me. I plan, I, I practice this as a person and it's working. That is the highest currency I've handled. That is the highest currency that has bought me things that I didn't pay with money. Passion. How did it work? How did this work out? Now, just a little minute of yours dedicated to this video. We review everything you have to know about this. Really, they say attitude is everything. That is true, but listen to me. Passion is also everything. What is passion? The word passion originates from the Latin word passio. And when it is applied to the mind, it means being controlled by emotion. Now, passion and emotion are two different things. Passion is the senior brother of emotion or senior sister of emotion to use to the feminine ones. Now, emotion is very, very, very uh, strong, they say. They use it when it comes to do with love. Oh, my emotion, she affected my emotion, he affected my emotion. But let me tell you something. You need passion to sustain your love, not only emotion. Let's go somewhere because emotion is the weaker version of passion. Passion is a strong and barely un, barely controllable emotion rather. Passion is a strong and barely controllable emotion. It's what I mean is that it is an emotion that you can hardly control. You need grace to control passion. Because when you have different types of passion, if it's the negative type, when someone wants to kill, when they can no longer hold that person, is that passion to see that head rose. You can barely control it. And what leads to passion is emotion. Emotion gives birth to the kind of passion that you will inhabit. Now, passion supersedes emotion. There are three types of passion according to my own teaching today. According to the studies I have done and what I have come across in the Bible, there are three types of passion. We have the sinful passion that you can see is in um, Romans chapter 1, verse 26 to 27. For this reason, God gave them up to their dishonorable, dishonorable passions. That's like talking about what happened in Sodom and Gomorrah and all the rest where people lost in after themselves. The Bible says that God gave them up to their dishonorable passions. That is sinful passion. The next passion is burning passion. This has to do with, uh, is always found more in a, when we come to talk about biology, you know, the, the, the human physique, the human makeup. This is not all controllable. It is only the strong sometimes that can control this burning passion. Where do you find a burning passion? Burning passion is in the first Corinthians chapter 7 verse 9. It says, but if they cannot exercise self-control, they should marry. For it is better to marry than to burn with passion. Now you see what I'm talking about it has to do with biology. Now that is another type of passion. It's called burning passion. When a lady, a man can no longer hold themselves. That's what the Bible talks about. Burning passion. Passion to have a sexual relationship with the opposite sex and so on. Now the next passion is the positive passion. That's where I'm driving at. Now the burning passion, I'm not saying it's a bad passion when you are married and all the rest. It's a, it's a good one. You, have, you need to have that. But the place I am dwelling on today is the positive passion. That you can find in the book of Matthew chapter 6 verse 21. It says, For where your treasure is, there your heart will also be. That is the type of passion I'm talking of. Where your heart is, the thing that is always preoccupying your heart, the thing that if you don't do it, ah, I've not done this today. I have to do it. I've not done this work today. I have to do it. Let me tell you the truth. That has been my secret. In my life, I've worked in uh, five different organizations. And since my work, I have never been sacked from any organization. I quit when I think it's time to quit. Why? Because it's passion. But some people walk, they sack them from this place to another place. They sack you. But when you have passion, people hardly get you quitted from your job people hardly undo people hardly do a thing without you because they need someone that can do it because with passion you can do what people don't think you can ordinarily do now listen to this without passion your goal will be out of fashion now what you are 
you are chasing after is what God has fashioned for you. But with that passion, your goal will be out of uh, out of fashion. With passion, you can achieve goals higher than any mansion. With passion, you can achieve goals higher than any mansion. You can achieve things that people will ask how. How? With his passion. What will take you to the heavenly mansion is the passion you showed during your earthly mission. The mission God has given to you, what will give you the heavenly mansion is the passion you showed towards that heavenly, earthly mission. What has God committed to you here on earth? What passion have you shown towards it? That is why we have the passion of Christ. When Jesus came to this earth, the, the, the heavenly mansion he's enjoying, he's ruling over, was given to him because he conquered, because he had passion over his earthly mission. So for you to achieve or inherit your heavenly mansion, it depends on the passion you show towards your earthly mission. With passion in your assignment, kings from nation will seek for your attention. With passion in that assignment in your hand, kings from all nations will seek for your attention. Romans chapter 12 verse 11 says, the passion translation, I'm reading from the passion translation. Now, funny enough, you are talking about passion and I'm reading from the passion for translation. Yeah, because we need passion. So Romans chapter 12 verse 11 says, be enthusiastic to serve the Lord. Keep your passion toward him boiling. What are you fixing your passion in? Now, how can I grow my passion for the work committed in my hands? This is the sweet part of the message. I always like using the letters in a word to expatiate and to explain the deep meaning of that word. Last week, we talked about diligence and we used each letter in diligence to explain how to be diligent in our assignment. Now, before I close the, the, the sermon today, how can we grow our passion? How can we make our passion work for us? I will still use the letters in the word passion. I know you love, you love this part of the message, just like myself. What is the first letter in passion? It is P. Now, P is pack out of your past. Pack out of your past. You heard me right. Dwelling in your past won't allow your passion towards your present task to grow. Dwelling in your past won't allow your passion towards your present assignment to grow. Oh, I can't forget him. I can't forget him. You will not do well in your new relationship. Pack out of your past. You have to remove that passion from the past, the, the past relationship to the present relationship. Oh, I missed this work. Pack out of your past or you will not do well in the work God has given you now. Oh, I missed that environment. Pack out of your past or else the new environment you have will also reject you. Matthew, rather, Luke, rather, chapter 9, verse 62 says, Then Jesus declared, No one who puts his hand to the plow and looking on the things behind is fit for the kingdom. You cannot look behind and be fit for the future. The next letter in passion is attach A, attach the task to your heart. It is A, which means attach the task to your heart. Matthew chapter 6, verse 21 says, For where your treasure is, there your heart will also be. The heart beats in me that it pumps the blood. Now, if it stops beating, your blood stops pumping. You know how you know how to have passion towards your work. See that part, the work as if it is your heart. See it as if if it stops pumping, if it stop, if you stop pushing towards that work, it will die. Just see it, attach it to your heart, attach it to the level at which your heart pumps the blood. That is how to go your passion towards the assignment God has given you. The next letter is S. It means serve one course and one goal. Can one serve two masters at a time? No. You can't be serving this and serving that and doing this and doing this. For you to have passion in that assignment, you have to serve one course and one goal at a time. The next letter in passion is another S, which means start immediately whenever an idea pops in. In that assignment you're doing, oh, that work you're doing, God gives you an assignment, start immediately. In that work God gives you, give you rather, gave you rather, you are doing it an idea, start immediately. You don't know that that little idea is the little seed that will announce you to the world. Those little inputs we overlook. I tell you the things that worked for me. You hear Mac Miracle, Mac Miracle, those of you, excuse me, that know me on social media. You don't know me on social media because of the work I do. 
you don't know me on social media because of the songs I sing. You know me on social media because I did it immediately. It popped into my head. There are so many people there on social media. Why are they not known? Why are they not being talked about? Why did you know me from the environment you knew me from? Why did you know me? There are many people, persons in those environments and several other environments. Why didn't you know them? Because immediately idea pops into this head you are seeing. I put them out immediately. That is how my passion works for me. And it can work for you wherever you are watching this video from. The next letter is I. Imagine you were a desperate orphan. I imagine you were a desperate orphan. Do you know why the children and the sons and the daughters of rich men don't, don't have their names ringing a bell like their fathers? I'm telling you the truth. All the rich men I know, I know of a few, but many, 99.9% .9 of the rich men I know, I don't know the names of their children, who are even grown. Why? It's because of this letter I. Imagine you were a desperate orphan. Orphans don't play with opportunities. Orphans who don't who wants to succeed. Oh, I don't have a father. I don't have my mother. I don't know how to succeed. If I joke with this job, I will sleep on the gutters. I will sleep in the gutters. Give yourself that mentality. Imagine you are a desperate orphan. No father, no uncle, no ma even though your father is rich, even though the name of your father is ringing a bell, imagine you are a desperate orphan that if your name doesn't ring a bell, you will die of hunger. Now, put yourself in that shoe. Your passion towards anything. I tell you the truth. I have not handled any assignment. I am not bragging. I have not handled any assignment in my life that the people I did that for do not want me to do it over and over again. Because, should I tell you the truth? If I don't do it well for you to pay me, where do I sleep? My father is not a, a, is not a landlord. My late father is not a landlord. He does not own any... Assuming he owns any, any house in Portacourt here, anywhere. I won't allow anybody to insult me. I will sleep in his house, just like other children of other rich men. I will sleep in his house, eat his food. Even at 35, I will eat his food. Marry my wife and collect one room in his compound and enter there. But do you see the a mentality of a desperate orphan? I am not an orphan. I have a very lovely mother. But I still have that mentality that no mother, no father, nobody to help me. So my own name must ring a bell. Even though your father is well to do, even though your mother is well to do, tell yourself this mentality. I have to ring my own bell. They have rang theirs. And I see it working for you. Second to the last letter, O. Open up to challenges. Ah, this small boy has seen a photo. I have fought in my life. I have seen challenges I conquered. The more I conquer them, the next step I find myself. The more I conquer them, higher I see myself. Challenges are the only steps you need to climb to get to the benefits of life. Challenges are the only steps you need to climb to get to reach the benefits of life. You don't fight, no victory. It builds your strength every day. The last letter in passion is N. Never say never. Passion never dies as passionate people never give up. Passion never dies as passionate people never give up. Ah, we collected his work. Let's see how he will survive. Passion never dies. They chased you from work. Let's see how you survive. Passionate people don't die. You know why? Their passion don't die because they never give up. They attack you if you have passion. Should I tell you something? Listen to this. Passion can't be killed. Just like the moon looks for the sun to get its light, passion drives itself to another task when its former source is attacked or fought. Passion can never be killed. Just like the moon looks for the sun. The moon, if you don't see the moon this night, tomorrow night, just know that the moon did not see the sun. The moon is always looking for the sun. When once it sees the sun, it gets its light. Oh, the moon faced this side. No light for you today. It will not die. The moon is still alive. That you did not see it does not mean that the moon is dead. Passion does not die. Passion is like the moon. Passion is like the moon. You can't kill people that have passion. When once you, you suppress them, you fight them in their job, in their assignment, the only thing they do is to remove their passion from that work and face it something else. And everything a passionate person puts his mind works. Even though a passionate person wants to steal, 
they succeed in stealing. You know why? Passion is catastrophic. Passion is corrosive. Passion. Let me borrow a language. Flabbergasted. If there's any language, an adjective like that. With passion, you can move mountains. I close with this. People say attitude is everything because it is 100 mathematically. I tell you something. Passion may not rhyme up 100%, but passion is everything. Before I close this video, your passion will not work for you. If you do not align yourself with the passion of Christ, you have to be born again. Say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I come to you as a sinner. Forgive my sins. Remove my name from the book of death and write it in the book of life. I will serve you all the days of my life. In Jesus' name. Till we meet next Sunday on the church, on the mobile church. I remain your very own evangelist, Mark Miracle. I love you so much. In case you have any inquiries you want to make or anything you want to say, my number is at the end of the advert playing now. Bye. We believe you were blessed with today's episode of Pure Gospel Moment. For prayers, testimonies, or further inquiries, you can reach Mac Miracle on plus 234-812-328-8593. That is plus 234-812-328-8593. Eight five nine three. God bless you real good. Joel 2 verse 28 And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. It is time to spread the undiluted gospel to the dying world. An expository moment wrapped up with the power of the Holy Ghost. This is Pure Gospel Moment with Mac Miracle. Get set for an encounter with a God who changes identity.